Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we are painting this desk that I found for $30. It's in pretty good condition. It's wood and wood veneer, but the plan's simple. We're painting it, leaving the drawers wood, and adding some new hardware. So, let's get started. The first thing I do is remove the hardware, and then we clean the entire surface with some dish soap and warm water. So I'm flipping this piece over because the main damage to this piece was the veneer was chipping on the edges. So I'm going to be throwing these little floor protectors on that I ripped off an old piece and just cleaning them up a bit and then I'll hammer them on the bottom. The main reason I'm using these is to lift up the furniture so it doesn't continue to chip after we paint it. And be careful when you're throwing these on. As you can see when I hammered this one on it kind of pushed the veneer out so I actually took it off and then moved it back a tiny bit and then hammered it back on. Since this side of the desk was solid wood, I didn't want to chip it at all, so I bent the pieces inwards and just put it as close to the middle as I could. So here's the main damage on the side with the veneer. It's basically peeling off all over because it would have been on the ground. So I'm using Bondo to fill in these gaps and to make it stronger just so we don't have chips after we paint it. So I just take the Bondo filler and throw it on a piece of wood. Then I take the hardener and put a strip of it from side to side and just mix it all together with a putty knife. After you get a pink like color, it's ready to apply. So I just take the putty knife and just start filling in the gaps and the chips on the bottom of this piece. So whenever I apply Bondo, I make sure I apply enough on the first coat so I don't have to come back and do it again because it's just waste some time. And simply this just means apply the Bondo so it is above the veneer surface. So when you sand it, you can sand it down to level out with the veneer. Now I'm sanding the old finish off with 100 grit and then I finish it off with 180 grit to make it a bit smoother. So this is actually one of the drawer slides. It was completely cracked in half so I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue and I'm just going to throw it right down the center of these two pieces where it cracked and then I'm just going to use tape to hold them together and I'll keep it there overnight so they dry nice and strong. Now it's time to sand the Bondo smooth. I start with 100 grit and then I actually finish the Bondo with a 320 grit just so the transition from the Bondo into the veneer is super smooth. I usually do this with something over 300 and it makes a seamless transition. You can feel it with your fingers and it's perfect. And then I sand the rest of the desk with a 180 grit sanding paper. I also decided to pop out these wood caps that go over the screws and I'll just get new ones later and we will get them to match the hardware.
And after sanding, I use a tack cloth just to wipe up all the dust and make everything clean before we add a primer. I'm using Rust-Oleum's white primer. It's a spray-on primer. And there was a few water stains on top, so I knew I should throw this primer on just to seal this piece so I wouldn't have any bleed through. And here's my Rust-Oleum spray handle that I forgot to use at the start. And I just start spraying this primer all over the, all over the piece. I did run out of primer so I didn't get the inside of the desk, but that's okay. I'll make sure if we do have any bleed through, I will seal it up with some clear shellac or just a clear spray. When using spray primers, it's almost impossible to get a smooth finish from them. It's usually a little bit bumpy, so I always take a 220 grit sanding sponge. Just go over the full piece you prime just so everything's smooth when you apply your paint. It's always nice to lift up your piece when painting. So I'm using this Fusion Mineral Paint, Algonquin Paint again. I used this in a recent project, so you might as well just use up the paint products you have because if not, it's just a waste of money to buy them and not use them up. So I like to finish off and finish some smaller projects with leftover products. Paint tends to go over the edge and it might create a little lump on the, the other surface. So what I like to do is take my 220 grit sanding sponge and just sand it while it's still pretty wet. And then you're going to apply your paint and you won't even notice the paint drip line. Here's our dried first coat and before our second coat I like to do a quick sand over again with our 220 grit sanding sponge and then we're going to apply the next coat. So I do the exact same thing, just apply the second coat. I also decided to use coal black fusion mineral paint on the back just to cover it up. It was pretty dirty back there so I just wanted to put one coat of this on it so it looked pretty clean. And after that now I'm throwing a plastic drop cloth and we're just going to set it up here while we spray the water-based polyurethane. It's good to throw one of these down so you don't have dust coming up on and into your finish. I'm using Varathane Diamond Wood Finish in, in clear satin. So I just pour it into my paint container using a strainer. And I have 500 milliliters, so that means we are throwing in 50 milliliters of water. That's 10% water. And I also throw in a bit of my Algonquin Fusion Mineral Paint just so we get a nice clear looking finish and we don't have any blockiness when we spray it on.
the water-based poly has a bit of paint in it so it actually goes really nicely on raw wood it kind of gives the wood a it's still clear but it matches up with the paint really nicely so that's what I really liked about this project so I picked up some more wooden screw plugs and I'm just gonna paint them black and then we're gonna coat them with lacquer for durability I sprayed two coats of black paint and three coats of lacquer. Finally, it's the next day and this drawer slider has been taped up fully overnight and it is solid now. The wood glue is nice. All I'm gonna do is sand it nice and smooth, get rid of any glue, and now we're gonna attach it back on. After the slider is in place and it's sturdy, I grab some Varathane finishing wax and a little clean rag and just rub it on the sliders, all three of them, just to make sure the drawers will slide nice and smooth. All that's left to do is to attach the new hardware that I picked up and then put the drawers in place. And then we throw in the black screw covers. And finally we're done with this desk. Let's take a look at it before. There were some water stains on top here you can see and overall this desk was just outdated and it was in need of a makeover. So here is what our desk looks like after. I hope you guys like this updated modern looking version of this desk. I had a lot of fun doing this makeover video. So if there's anything you guys like specifically about this project, let me know in the comments below. I picked this desk up for $30. What should I sell it for? Anyways, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more furniture flips coming your way. See you next time.